That's why your beard don't connect. <laughs> And you were that weird because <laughs> and your own boys make can't. way more than you. <laughs> Hello? Hey, get in the car. The sun's coming down. I'm sorry. That is exactly how it be. Your woman can say all types of shit. She can dish it out. But she can't take it. <laughs> That's like when we were younger and you and your girlfriend was play fighting and then out of nowhere she gets serious. Busking girls are just, just lying for social media. You, you can just tell. You can just tell. Because if you go through that guy's following right now, he's following Maya Mills, he's following Kenza, yeah. he's following Tennessee. All the girls that you follow, don't you skin girl, I think they'll even follow, um, bro, will probably be like, Eva. If I pay, oh, max. That's yeah. the max you'll get from them. So, like I said, yeah. I just, I generally believe the men loving of dark skin girls is, is a facade. Like, it's a, it's, I don't, I don't believe it. But I feel like it even comes with fetish as well. Yeah. I don't want to play devil's advocate. I feel as though these young ladies are projecting. Just because certain men aren't attracted to you does not mean that they're not attracted to dark skin women. But I'm not going to lie. We do have some young men out here and some older gentlemen who don't appreciate our melanated queens. I had friends who did not like dark-skinned women. When I used to hear the way they spoke about dark-skinned women, it used to hurt my feelings. I just didn't get it. POV, trying to film content in New York City. What kind of nonsense place is this? Another perfect example. Somebody who needs to be taught a lesson. It's a lot of people running around here that has never been punched in their face. I feel as though that is essential because there's people running around here that don't know consequence. I have a big butt. Of course you don't care if the shot goes in. I have a big butt. Of course I have to jump to put jeans on. I have a big butt. Of course it's a BBL. Nah. I have a big butt. Nah. Of course jeans don't ever fit me. Uh-uh. Mm -mm. I have a big butt. Of course I have an OnlyFans account. <laughs> First off, I, I think that's homegrown. I don't think that came with a serial number. Lastly, she did bring up something. I do realize, now I don't know if it's me or the videos that I watch, but I do realize that a lot of beautiful women online have OnlyFans. Since we all know what the flip-flop companies did when they got by me. <laughs> Wait a minute, bro. What the f type of superpower is that? How did he put his leg up there? Squaw. I've moved on to medical equipment, and uh, there's some feeling stuff in places hey, I've been years. Ever since the accident, no. Every once in a while, you just get something that catch you off guard. I didn't even realize the slippers disappeared. Oh, oh. oh. thank you. Hey, don't you have a famous influencer on Nigeria? Yeah, right. Oh, man. You drop, you're flying a car, yeah? Uh -huh. Just because you make money on the internet don't mean you have to splurge. Don't mean you have to go out there and flex. People be internet famous trying to live up to their hype. Even with the money I make on YouTube, I'm not going out there living a facade. Ain't nothing wrong with being a penny pincher, bro. You never know. You got to have something for a rainy day. I'll take your photo of your number. <laughs> <laughs> I'll text you. You're so beautiful. I like you. <laughs> That's only going to work if you're attractive. I'm just throwing that out there. Some of y'all boys need not get no ideas. Okay, some of y'all boys might need a little more help. You might actually have to go say some words so she can get a wind of your personality. I know it's about 25,000 of you guys that watch these videos that still haven't subscribed. Hit that subscribe button. Come on now, we almost at 100K, man. We almost at 100K. And follow me on the gram. 
Follow me on Instagram. I, if I say right now, hey Siri, call dad, is it somebody in your phone gonna get called? Call your father, call my father. Let's see who pick up first. Put my phone on that, bro. Go to the closet, bro. You're going dad, dad for dad. Who's going dad for dad? Right three, now, three, two, one. Go. Come on, Pop. Oh. <laughs> what up? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. We, we ain't got dads? Hello? Yeah, what up, yeah. 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 yeah! 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 With so much deadbeat dads and single moms out here, I feel as though, man, this is the ultimate flex. I'm glad to see young black men promoting having a father figure in their lives, man. Uh, 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 yes, sir. Uh, yes, sir. <laughs> 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 Why do you sound like that? Yeah, oh. Oh, oh, God. Nice. You ain't got to like that. You know what I mean? Hey, man. I was just sending this thing to commissary, man. I was just sending this thing to commissary. Oh, my God, cuz you gonna let me drive that Lambo, bitch. If you not as happy as Gilly is for Wallow, when I'm doing something for myself, I don't want you around me, bro. These are the type of things you want around you. You want people that's gonna be happy for your success. Well, Gilly an idiot. Gilly a fool, dog. Oh my god, bro. You know Wallow's not say nothing negative, but a fire extinguisher in a Porsche is crazy. It's gonna catch fire? It's so hot in my motherfucker. Damn, this guy, you got the, the, the damn on our seats. <laughs> Yo. Oh my f God, cuz that is the big puppy Dola GT3. Oh, happy birthday, dog. Who that, man? He was just in jail, man. Oh, my God, man. That motherfucker. Nice. Oh. driving that motherfucker. I bet you I'll bet that bitch. And you know I got a heavy... people that's going to be there for you at your worst and celebrate you at your best. I think that's why I admire their relationship because all the stories that you hear, Gilly has always been there for his cousin. Wallow did like 20 years in prison. Came out and bro, he's living his best life right now. 